All right, welcome back to Shark Tooth Bay. We're paused because when I load the game, we have a pre-194 save file detected. There's a little glitch. It's an experimental version, right? There's a little glitch, but it's all fixable. Please be advised, give you some warnings about the surf double food. I understand. Now, if you have this glitch, you will notice that uh, when you view your villagers here, click on the villagers and then sort by status, your commoners don't have homes. They've all moved out, and every one of your highfalutin homes is empty. It's not a problem. Just do a quick save, and then load up that quick save. So now that uh, I've reloaded the quick save, slowly but surely, all the commoners will start moving back into homes. This, this version, this new version, has some epic changes. Let me slow this down. What is it you want? Whoa! The kingdom recognizes your efforts to establish your settlement. I'll take the hundred bucks. Uh, you can clear these. These are all the mandates that I didn't read. Building building monasteries. Promoting villagers. It's cool because it actually opens up stuff. Managing taverns. I don't know what's going on here. It opens up the build menu. No, it opens up the build menu, but it's highlighted the tavern. So this is part of the new tutorial, it looks like. But anyway, I'm clearing all these just by right-clicking. Close you. Close you. Close you. Good. Hospitium changes are complete. Good. So, uh, epic changes with this version. This is one of the biggest changes. It's so small, but it's so big. So see, we have two occupants in this house, right? We have uh, Ori and Audrey, and they're both builders. But look at the button. Look at the button. So if, you know, I, I need some commoners to move into the uh, stonemason huts, and I can... Hey, Gertie found a quartz deposit. Where's that? Where are we? Oh, right down the... Everybody's in the way. Right down the road. What? Nope, not that way. Right down the road over here. All right, there's too much to talk about. Anyway, you can promote villagers right from the screen. Boom, 20 gold promoted. That is huge. I have wanted that for probably over, well over a year. That is a huge change. Okay. Are we just on speed one now? Let's go back down to speed one. By the way, how are our commoners doing? Look, they're almost all moved in. Next change. There's now the, the distance calculation for warehouses and granaries, which is huge. So now you're not going to see... Uh, let's, let's take a look at these uh, transporters, for example. Um, let's look at fish. And let's watch the fish go back and forth. Can we see the fish? So this transporter is most likely... Right? Where do you work? Yeah, you work right here. You're going to see the transporters sticking more to their areas because that new algorithm has been put in, which should be huge. And you can see the fish moving over here. And what you won't see is you won't see one of the, the granaries over here walking all the way over here to get the fish. I think they tend to stick in their area. And this market dude, where's that market dude going? You're going to this nearby market here? Yep. Okay, good, good. So that's cool. Anything else? I think that's it for this version, but just the promotion from the villager page is absolutely humongous. I love it. Turn off the fish. Let's get going. Welcome to the newcomers. What were we doing last time out? Wow. Fingers on the wrong keys. <laughs> yes. As usual. What were we doing last time out? I, I have this market. I built this market here. So we're going to sell berries. Oh, I know what I wanted to show. We're going to berries, fish, and clothing here. And the three market tenders are going to be Annette, Gerlin, and Mariana. All right, more newcomers are approaching the village. And uh, you can sell food there, and you can get the food right up the thing. Check out the butcher. Remember how I said the butcher was censored last time? Well, now uh, you're walking right out here. <laughs> it's a little too big to fit in this area now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the butcher. Look at that. Look at... In there... I'm the... Well, let me find a better way to rephrase this. But she's got the hanging sausages. She was uh, working on the piece of meat there. Check it out. Now she's out here. Look at that. Back in here. How cool is that? And the other side? I guess the other worker works on the other side. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna move this builder. You'll be fine. These three builders... I'm just going to destroy... Let's see, this still works, right? I'm going to destroy this building. 
and then I'm going to put up another builder's hut because I'd like you to walk around a little easy a little better right we'll put you back a little further from the road get this built you should move back in same thing with these guys let's destroy this and then move it back a little bit we'll move you back from the road I don't know if this is gonna make them detour or not maybe I'll put a fence up to force them to detour but yeah let's put you back well look at that this symbol's new look at this check that out I didn't notice that symbol before is that because I have this highlighted yeah produces stone there's the stone it's going to produce all right build it do you builders move back in yeah the builders are gonna move back in here good and then how can I detour you around here I think let's go to decoration I think uh, a little fence a little uh, encouragement let's call it the encouragement fence to get them kind of around here will be good uh, I hope it doesn't block an entrance though well I guess we'll just leave it but I feel better that they have more space if they need it but anyway the new butchery cool huh all right how much meat do we have mm, 48 mm, might need another butcher might need some more pig hunters now I've got this is all boar with four transporter and you don't have any boar in it yet this is all meat yep and this is all fish all right uh, yeah I don't know let's let's track the boar a minute you have boar down here and the path isn't as horrible as it used to be although you have a windy road to get down there but it's not that's not too bad that's generally a straight line we have a lot more woods down here I think we should hunt the heck out of these woods you know what I'm saying? What do I own? Territory. I own the whole thing. Yeah, I'm gonna build some more, uh, some more hunters huts. And uh, what else? Are our soldiers out? Oops. I need to turn off this. Are the soldiers out? And then I need to do some promotions over here because I want more stonemasons in here. Hmm. You're now building a house. Who are these two new occupants? Nope, I already looked at you. It's Aurelia and Audrey. And you're both builders. Builders are easy to reassign. I'm gonna I'm gonna test this out. I'm gonna promote you right now. Commoner. Boom 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 boom. Commoner. Yeah. Okay, now uh you're building your house. You're not gonna be happy. So these are just No, that's high. These are both high because of the market. Cool. And then I want to move you into here. And uh, you're green. My higher status would be better used here. Oh, they turned the triangle to green. Would be better used here. Well, Audrey. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Audrey, you're not going to work here. I've taken your suggestion. And uh, who else? Somebody else should be green. Elisabetta? You're going to work here. Perfect. And then... In the builder's hut, which I think I kicked you out of. This is where the... Okay, yeah, this is where the yellow triangle is. You'll move out and I'll put some new builders in. But how cool is that? I want more. Yeah, more. Two of two. Barbalot and Harad. What are you guys? You're one of the market tenders. And you're a miner. I don't want to get rid of the market tenders. But I want to shrub this area. Uh, so we have more desirability. You know. So your average... Whoops. Right click. Your high. Your high. Okay, we have two highs and an average. And I believe this was high. Alright, we have places for people to move in. So eventually I'll do that. Okay, bridge. I'm not using mods yet. I don't know why, because the next series probably will not be modded either. I think I'm okay with using mods that don't that don't change the balance of the game. But anyway, for this, we're going to unlock the bridge. The bridge is under the common path. Unlock the wooden bridge. The stone bridge might look better. I don't know where the stone bridge is. It's a little difficult, it's under transportation, it's a little difficult to get this bridge to build where I want it to. 
but uh, actually now that I know where it works all right that's kind of silly long but I think that gives us a better chance of it working because this thing takes a while to build and then there's a few decorations I can use to maybe put some support under here so it doesn't look so bad I don't know if we can now build this build onto this but anyway let's build the bridge we'll get it built that's how it's going to look, and uh, this will help them get over the little hump here. Check out the fish numbers. 600 fish. Now, remember, I started trading fish. I said, let's go crazy and say bye until inventory reaches 350 and we're at 600 fish. Wow. Something changed. <laughs> Something changed there. Uh, let me welcome these newcomers before I request. Three days. Three days. All right. Welcome to the village. The house is upgrading and uh, good. Where's the house upgrading? Over here. Excellent. Okay, that's all working. And then uh, we got this guy. What do you want? If I can zoom in correctly. Wood for the bishop. No, nah, man, we don't have enough wood. Not interested. Maybe next time. We still don't have enough wood. Okay. I... I mean... We've got all these lumber camps. And... I guess we're turning them all into planks. I can put yet another lumber camp in. Why don't I... We already have a road up here. And I already have this as a no... No plant zone. So why don't I put another lumber camp up here? I have a feeling they're going to complain about not having a place to live. But let's put another lumber camp. I'm actually going to put you on this side of the road. Yeah, this side of the road. Build. And then I'm going to take this reforestation swath and make sure that it doesn't cover your where your camp's going at all. All right, we'll see if that lumber camp up there will help with the wood stuff. Now, where are you going to live? This place is packed. I don't know if I can uh, squeeze in another spot for a house here or not. I haven't tried to build down on the beach. We could we could try to build down here and see if anybody will build. I kind of think no. But uh, maybe somebody will build there. Do you think the route optimizations are helping with the fish? You think maybe the, the what, what was happening is... Let's turn off the wood. You think what was happening was is that the fish huts... How many fish can they hold? They can hold 50 fish. I don't know. I don't know. But we sure have a lot of fish now. Berries not so much, but I remember seeing some berries up in here. We have more woodcutters here. Okay, let's... let's. Uh, we have five unemployed. Mador, Asroth, and Mogger, you're going to be here. And then here is going to be Seeger and Adelaide's. You're in this lumber camp. I was going to cut down these woods because I was going to put farming here. So that's this is a temporary boost to our wood. And you don't have any place to store the wood. That's a problem. That's a problem because now there's range. If you know what I mean. And what are you holding? You're just holding gold. Yeah, let's put... There's farms here. Oh, I was going to put... I was going to start up the farming. You all have your crop fields painted. Right? Yep, I got to start up farming. I'm going to put a warehouse over here. And this warehouse, for right now, is going to store some wood. And then we need a granary here, too. So let's put the... I don't want to... Where's the... Show me the Show me the zones. I'll get to you. No, that's a courier. I'll get to you eventually. Let's put this warehouse here, because it doesn't go into the zoning area too much. And let's put another granary here for... Um, for wheat or bread or a player to be named later. Right there. Get that built. Okay. Create a request an audience. What is it you want? Supplying the wandering monks. You're not a monk. The wandering monks returned and are still seeking supplies. They promise kind words of your generosity. Make sure the monks are well fed. Have some coins instead. I did the coins last time. We only have 2,000 bucks. And remind me, with the clergy, we have 25 influence and we have a 25 cap. I need to spend it. The rustic cloister. I'm going to need to make a cloister. Some of these icons changed. 
modest cloister. We'll go with the... We have to have a cloister, so we'll go with the... Uh, this is just five. All right, what's this? Stone church. Unlocked. What do we got? A rating of 33? What's this? Monesta kitchen? Sure. Now we have zero. Now pay the monks off. Here's 50 bucks. Don't ask again. That's five more. Let's go back to the book. And uh, we can't do anything for five at the moment, so we'll have to wait. But the influence cap is 25 with the rating of 33. Labor, the uh, the labor rating is now 20, so that still has the uh, influence cap of 10. And uh, we can unlock the milling taxes. Right. Is it just me, or are these, all these things, these icons look better? Look, look how colorful that is with the little blue roof. Drinking taxes, no. Manor house stone architecture? Sure, common maintenance privilege, fair reputation privilege. I'm going to unlock the milling taxes and the tavern wall. Okay. And then let's slow it down to speed one because I got newcomers. Only two days. What is what is up with the two days? Welcome to the village. I don't know what your rush is. Hurry up and wait because I'm busy with other stuff. Kingdom. Rating of 17. I'm following somebody. The cap is 10. What is this? Kingdom Splendor Package. Sure. This is definitely a new icon. Look at the little star. That's the only thing I can unlock. Therefore, unlocked. Okay. All right. And let's turn off the uh, let's turn off the visibility of the zoning areas, please. Thank you very much. All right. What is it you want? Oh, knowing you are capable of raising stone churches. Isn't raising tearing down? The clergy believes it would be an immense display of devotion if you were to build this monument to the face splendor. I will comply with your request. There are other priorities. We'll dismiss this opportunity for good. No, I'm definitely going to build a stone church and I'll take your 10 and 100 bucks once we build it. And I'll build it when I have time. And you can wait. As long as I want you to wait. All right. How's the bridge doing? Nothing to report. Yeah, this one, that one stretch of bridge with the 125 planks takes forever to build. Have faith. It'll work. All right, let's go to the list of jobs and uh, sort by workers. What do we got? We still have three stonemasons that need carpenters. Let's start up the farms. I don't have the windmills yet. But we can start storing wheat. We can stock up on the wheat. And we have another lumber camp. This lumber camp, this new lumber camp is up. Good. Let's put uh, three woodcutters in here. Celestria, Eleonora, and Hutes. And then I think, let's see, do we have anybody else living over here? I'm gonna, this is just average. I wanna steal from a nice high house. It's uh, Geronimia and Baudry. You're both miners. Yeah, I'm gonna, ha we're gonna have to put you in back in the mines, but anyway. You've promoted, you're promoted. Oh, that is so nice. Right click to close all this stuff. And then, show me a green green stripe. There we go. Baudry. Uh, I have three now. Okay, Baudry. Two miners and a builder. Baudry, you're in this one. And show me the green. Uh, Geronimina, you're in this one. And then... Down here, oh, is this one done? This one is done. And uh, one more green should be Aurelia. And then we had, don't have any builders down here. All right, and we do have one unemployed still. So um, you're gonna move out. Muniana Nama 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 is gonna move in. You're finishing up, you're moving out. Why are you moving out? No, sorry, you're unemployed. Never mind. Petronella. Peter Nella. Is gonna be another pillar. Good grief. Okay, good. Just wait till this bridge gets up. It's gonna be gonna be great. House is upgrading. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Everything's working just fine. Okay, how many people can we hold now? So we go here, and then we go over to the monastic scriptatorium. No, the hospitium. And then we go back to home, and we can now hold 53 occupants. House is up to 53 visitors. Okay, I'm happy with that. And let's review the budget. I can do windmills, other taxes. I don't know how many taxes I can do without making them unhappy. 
You know what I'm saying? But uh, you're only doing a minus 5% hit on the taxes here, which means our happiness is almost always right about at uh, 90%. All right, anyway, I was going to look at the budget. Let's look at last month's. Residential taxes are okay. Mining taxes are okay. Newcomers request an audience, just one dude. Uh, trade sold. We sold 222 bucks in common clothes, 328 gold ore, 695 in herbs, 626 in planks, 199 in polished stone. All good. Uh, expenses. Anybody give us gifts? No gifts? I got this huge hospitium. It's like a hospital, but it's not. Yeah, hospitality. It's hospitality in. Got this huge hospitium and you're not giving me gifts. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty... Oh, oh we, we, probably donations. From satisfied guest. $20. Anyway, newcomer. Welcome to the village. Uh, I gotta go back to the jobs list because I can't remember. Farmers, I'm not starting yet. Uh, the gold quarry is down a miner now. So this is going to be Eggsman... Eggsamina. You're new? You're in the mine. And then we still need one more... Uh, woodcutter from the lumber camp and we're down a transporter and another miner here granary built and That was awful loud for just a granary building just saying I'm gonna store all wheat here. We're gonna maximize our wheat From the farms because they're gonna be farming before I have windmills Because exclusive I'm staying exclusive with these so we're gonna have one exclusive for wheat We're gonna have one exclusive for flour and we're gonna have one exclusive for bread and the warehouse is also built what were you gonna do wood exclusive to wood because you got to be exclusive and then if I'm going to cut more wood down this now this is all hunting areas so this is temporary and then once it's empty we shut the whole thing down and I was thinking about trying to build a wall through here oh yeah no, no, no. We can do, uh, we can do more, uh, berry huts. Yeah. This is gonna be, look at the berries. One, two, three, four, five berries. Did I want to do these berries? Yeah, we'll have farming and stuff here, but we'll also do the berries, because they're here. And we don't have that many of them. One, although I could have, I could put more in the monastery. Two. Good. And then we're picking these berries? No, we have so much to build. I need more builders. Let's put another builder's hut. I've got to catch up. <laughs> I got to let the village catch up. Let's put another builder's hut over here. All right. Built. We don't have any unemployed. We're waiting for newcomers to come in. Only one newcomer at a time. Hey, somebody did build a house here. Are you the woodcutters? You are the woodcutters. Good. Thank you for building your house. Right on the beach. That's not, that's not a bad location for a house. You just gotta watch the high tides. Welcome to the village. Let's go back to the list. And I want to fill out, like, the stonecutter's camp. Where is this? Were you always down one? How did you lose one? Remember I moved these? I, I moved these. Uh, well, one more miner here. It's gonna be, uh, more. More mining. And then, uh, what else? We're down a transporter at this warehouse here. Mm-hmm. And you're just swords and wool. Yeah. Well, how are we on the wool numbers? 134. And you're not even full. I don't know what else to do here, but let's just put uh, Francisca in here as the final transporter. I don't know what to do with that one. Look at all those barrels, would you? So now we have two houses right on the beach. Okay. I could promote you, but in order to get these houses looking nicer. I might do that. You know what? I'm not going, going to allow you to density upgrade because you're right on the beach. I want these to be small houses and then maybe we'll promote and get somebody in there. Alright, this granary is going to do berries. And... Hey, newcomers. Welcome to the village. I honestly want to get... The bridge is not done yet. I'm looking up here. Let's get some more builders up here to speed this up. Uh, Druid, Ganebra, and Marozia. You're going to be up here to help help out. Church, no access to service. Okay, now, wait. 
they wanted they wanted me to build a church and we don't have uh, any churchiness up here. They have to walk all over the place for a church. Go to the cross. Here's the new church. Let's put our first church right in here. Why not? What's the... Remind me what the zoning is. There's nothing zoned up here. Alright. This is going to be our first church. How much can this hold? 45. That's what we like to see. Big steeple? This, this doesn't strike me as a church that needs a big old steeple. Wow, that's right next to the bridge. You are really taking chances doing that. I'll scoot it over just a little bit. There. Newcomers requesting on it. Slow it down to speed one while I'm doing this. I feel like this needs to be a little taller. We'll have a window in here eventually. And do I want to put something... What do I got? Oh, we got the, the hoity-toity cross. And... Let's put another... Where's my gargoyles? I'm, I'm upset that I don't see any gargoyles. And the rustic statue <laughs> will snap to the top. Fine, I'll put another hoity-toity cross up here. What color do I want to make this? Where's the color? Stone, red, blue. Blue for the lake. Red to stand out from the lake. Let's do red. Okay. There it is. Kind of a modern looking church. Am I okay with it being that tall? Maybe down one. Maybe down one. I heard frog. Maybe down one. Maybe down one. There we go. Let's get that built. Like, like, we don't have enough stuff to build, you know? I should high-prioritize the bridge. Just so they get this thing done. Otherwise, well, it's only one builder. So it's only going to take up one builder. This area is looking pretty good. And uh, I need to promote more? Or I have, let's see. Do we have anybody else? Just right-click. Do we have anybody else with little green arrows? Nope. So I need to do some more insta-promotions. What do we got here? You're just average. Well, first let me fix that little problem by uh, by going over to decoration, common decorations. Look at all just all the decorations. I always use shrubs. A simple tree planter. This is big and green. And, uh, you know, these shrubs just kind of look ridiculous because you walk through them. But if I put this tree planter right here, all right, and build it, you're now high. Yeah, so I need to maybe mix it up. Right? Not all the shrubs. Sometimes tree planters, too. So now I can go here and I can say, okay, we got four of six. Uh, tell me where you work. You are... You're a builder. I think they're all builders, right? You're a builder. You're a builder. You're a market tender. Okay, I'm not... Barbalot, you're going to be promoted. Ta-da! I'm not going to kick out the market tenders, and then we'll promote one builder. Ta-da! And then... I, I can right-click, but I love the way I always go to the X, even though it's it's more of a pain. Show me a green arrow. There we go. Barbalot, you're going to move in here to make some polished stone for us. And then... This is also empty. This is going to be... Ginebra. And I guess that was all that I promoted, right? Just two. And now are they all full? I think so. I think all these stonemason huts are now full. Yep. Your storage is full of iron. I, I kept seeing that complaint, storage full. You're full of iron because I'm not using it. I need to bring iron over here, right? Because we need iron workers. I said I was going to put iron workers down here, but this is all stone now in a church. Where am I going to put the iron workers? I think they have to go down in this valley. Okay. Let me, let me look at the list. Um, mandates. Let's see if I can find one of these. That's not it. Yeah, this is it. That's this one here, right? No. Er, this one. It's this one. Gertie, do this one, please. How much you want to bet they can't... No. Oh, I hope they can walk down through here. If not... I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Get it? Bridge? Cross? Newcomers requested audience. Two days left. Welcome to the village. Wow. Alright. What do I need to do here? Uh, builders. Let's go back up to... Uh, this village is kind of sprawling, you know? When it takes me a few, 
to get from one side of the village to the other. We only have two or three builders here. It's going to be uh, Beavis. Or Beavis. And here, we still have three of three builders. Good. What else did I take out of? The mine, one of the mines? Four or four miners I took out of the stone mine. Okay. Uh, Leogard. You're going to be here. I need one more miner there. Newcomers requesting an audience. Welcome to the village. Alright. Remind me. I want to finish filling up stuff that we stole from. There's a lumber camp over here. Yeah, well, we didn't steal from anybody here. I just didn't put anybody in. It's going to be Gundoaldo. Gundoaldo. And then this miner. This is the stone quarry right here on the hill that I stole somebody from. Yep. It's going to be uh, Garusha. Okie doke. And then we've got our berry camps up over here. We've got this uh, granary up that I've already set the berries. We're good to go as soon as we have some peeps come in. Did I circle the stuff? I circle the stuff. This camp's up. This is your residential area. That pretty much fills this area out. And I was trying to put a bridge over in here and it's not working. And uh, that's not... I don't know the route Gertie took. But I think it was... She took the long way around. I really want a connection here. I really might have to use the ladder. Wooden bridge has been built. Oh, somebody's crossing it right there. Look at that. There you go. Congratulations. I know it looks like it needs some serious support. There you go. There you go. The bridge is working. It looks like it needs some support. Now, there are some decorations that kind of look okay. Uh, for one, there's this uh, elegant post. So two elegant posts, they build instantly. Kind of work okay there. They cost 47 bucks. Not 50. Not 45, 47 bucks. That kind of helps, you know, give it some support. I don't know what to do with the taller stuff here. There, There's a flag, so there's a street sign. That's not going to look good. But there's a banner that uh, you can uh, suspend disbelief and say, Hey, this, uh, this is an incredibly strong post here. There. Banner on each side. Kind of, sort of, helps hold up the bridge. Give it a little <laughs> substance. This doesn't look as bad as I thought it would look. I thought the bridge would look really bad. I don't think the stone bridge would look good here. But the wooden bridge looks okay. It's a ramp. It looks about the same as the ladder mod would. Except maybe maybe a little more realistic. I wish I had more building parts to put in here. Probably do. I'm just not thinking where I would get them. Maybe I would build a fort or something here and use some of those parts. Two newcomers. Welcome to the village. Uh, what do we got? Mm, another builder in this builder's workshop. This is over here. Yep. You're going to be uh, consensus. And so that puts us back at full power for the builders. And then over here we have a transporter. We have another stone cutter camp. Where is this? Well, somebody just got added to it. Where is this? Oh, way back here. Ooh, that's a bad scene, man, because I actually don't have a warehouse to store the stone. Yeah. You know, that's really interesting. I'm going to go ahead and let that miner work there. I bet you that... I wonder if the transporters won't actually show up to collect the stone. Let's watch that and see what happens. All right. Now, Gertie, depending on what you find, what am I going to do? What am I going to do down here? This is where... I really wanted to put the industry down here, and it might work out now that we have kind of a regional bias towards transporting, but... And you only found rock, Gertie. And, uh, yeah, you're walking back this in this direction instead of up the hill. Well, you know... Gertie, if you found something more than rock, I'm, I might have given you a break, but, uh... Uh, you, Gertie, you've been fine, okay? You found a lot of good stuff. As a matter of fact, at the beginning of the episode, you found quartz. Did you not? Right up the hill? Around the corner? Quartz up here? We could put the industry over here, too. We have quartz and we have marble. Man. This is kind of a cool little valley. What do I own here? Uh, 1900 bucks. Let me go ahead and buy this. This gives me some more berries. And should I go ahead and buy this? Yeah, why not? And then another lake with more fish. 
832 fish. Look at those fish numbers, would you? That's that. If there was some balancing changes done, that might have been a little bit in the wrong direction. I don't know. Let me let me watch the fish. Yeah, I'm shocked how many fish we have. But I do have a lot of fishing huts. Four newcomers. Welcome to the village. I gotta be fast because I don't want to miss you because you only give me three days. I swear you used to give me five days. Alright, what, uh, jobs, 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 jobs. I wanted to put more hunters in. The foragers are up. Okay, let's, no, let's get in order, because I just about built new stuff. Let's, let's try to fill out what we have. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put transporters in. You're, you're supposed to collect berries. And we're going to put two transporters in, Astilia and Elixia. Yeah, I was a trader. I'm like, who's walking in there? And I want to see what you do, because we don't have any berries up here yet. So I would really like to see where you go and what you do before I put... I might as well put all four transporters in. It's a Dulcid Ram and Liveth. Right, all the transporters are in here now. And I'm going to start watching berries. So Dulcid Ram's on free time. He's taking a bridge. He should move up here. Look at that church going in. And you're going to work right at this, uh, this granary here. And you're checking out this house. You're building this house awful close to this nice house. There's that tree. Now what are you doing? You're still on free time. I'm just going to follow him until he's not on free time. So check it out. Dulcidram has not gone out of his house. I mean, I know he's lazy, but I think he honestly doesn't have anything to do because there are no berries close. So I've been watching him the whole time. He's just hanging out. He's going to hang out until his food expires. Where is he? Now he's getting food again. So he never went to work. Constantly on free time. What a slacker. Right? So uh, we I welcomed one newcomer, by the way. So we are going to assign uh, Merrywind as our first forager over here. And I think as soon as we have some berries... I think there's a rain. There's now a rain... There's now a a pretty hard range to these it would be nice if when I clicked on the granary that a circle popped up that showed the range that would be so cool and then the range really works and I got more newcomers where I'm still watching Dulcidram newcomers requesting an audience welcome to the village everybody just three I guess so just three merchant requests an audience what do you want iron ore for the elders yeah man we are loaded with iron Accumulate 100. Oh, except I'm not storing it anywhere. That's a problem. And you, you do not look trustworthy at all. Not interested maybe next time. <laughs> not even, not even going to consider it, pal. I don't have iron in a warehouse. Look at all the berries. Good grief. Whoosh. Whoosh. Look, look how they change. <laughs> look, look how they change overlays as you move over. It's because I can see underneath them. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, that's not what I'm. That's not what I want to do. Dulcidram, you're still uh, you're still on free time. Uh, I might have just missed it. Somebody loaded one berry into here, but there's four workers, so who knows how many there are. But uh, I welcome some more, right? Yeah. Uh, Ser Serventa, uh, Brunmer, in here, and uh, let's see. Over here, it's going to be Sithney. I hear a bell. I wonder if the church is up. And then uh, I'm going to wait till Dulcidram is not on free time anymore. And hopefully he will... Uh, you're, you're in here, right? Is Dulcidram? Yeah. Yeah, I do think it has a hard range. Which, which makes planning satellite villages... Ooh, that's really cool. You just have to make sure that their needs are met. Because we know that if you can keep things stocked, the villagers... Hey, the stone church has been built. Uh, 10 clergy influence on 100 gold coins. If you can keep things stocked around where the villagers live, they will not wander. They'll only wander when uh, they can't find something. All right. And everybody's still using the bridge. Good. And you're... I think you worked. No access to service. We just built a new church. Get in there. All right, yeah, that, that appears to be what it is. And there's the market, got one berry. 
Okay. <laughs> Previously to that, you had to travel all over the place. Now, wait a minute. So here's the thing. If I say stock maximum on all of these, one, two, three, four, will you go to work? Immediately starts working. Where are you going? Well, yeah. If I say stock maximum, he's going to go somewhere else to get those berries. Okay. And then if I just say, no, just accept goods, man. You're still going to do your route. But then I don't think, uh, I don't think you'll go this far again. So stock maximum is a way, of course, to get them to move from one granary to another. You're going to go, where are you going to go? Where are you going? You're going to go over here and you're going to steal some berries, aren't you? Actually, they all are. Everybody's stealing. You completely know. There's not enough for you here. You're going to go down here. Yeah, you got your five berries and now you're going to go back. But you shouldn't do that again. Yeah, you only went that far because uh, because I turned on stock maximum. Good stuff. The fish. 814 fish. <laughs> How are we getting fish over here? You gotta travel forever to get fish. So this is interesting because now I need to build a granary just for fish over here. Go over here, go to granary. Invalid position. You can go right here. You're fine, right here. Right here. We'll get that built. We'll do fish and we'll do one stock maximum. So somebody has to go somewhere and pick up the fish. And the rest will just be... Actually, since you're so far away from the ocean, maybe you should all be stock maximum. Yeah. Hey, Bela found an iron deposit. Oh, shoot. Now, Gertie, thank you very much. Plug your ears. I really wanted you to find just crap here. Because I didn't want to build anything down here. All right. Well, that's okay. I've got to do some serious building. This is another village. This is basically another village. Newcomers, welcome to the village. Yeah, that's basically another little village. Man, I gotta get on the ball. And uh, the church is doing good. What's the attendance like? 53 of 72? <laughs> it might already be too small. That's pretty sharp. This doesn't. But, you know, I've seen, uh, I've seen some, uh, back decks built with that kind of, uh, that kind of rickety construction before. It'll hold up for a little while. We still have two, well, okay, we have two unemployed. Let's, let's fill this out. What do we got? Haven't done the farmers yet, uh, foragers. I thought, sure, I put more foragers in. Oh, no, there's only one available. No, there's only one here. It's okay. Rambod and the Tedric. And uh, now we're fully functional as far as berry picking over here. And uh, these markets should be... Turn on the tracker. Yeah, you just brought 20 over. Turn on the fish tracker. And 9 fish. I don't know how you're getting the fish. That's, uh, that's a lot of work because you have to go all the way down here to get the fish. So I will do a stock maximum fish granary over there. One newcomer is requesting an audience. I need more than one, man. <laughs> Where are you gonna go? Hmm. List? Stonecutter camp? Yeah, that's right. And we don't have anybody to store it. So I was gonna look at the stonecutter camp and see if anybody's picked it up. Well, you've only done two so far. Alright, I'm gonna put a orica. I'm gonna put a second miner here. Oh, somebody picked it up. Where do you work? It's Baudry. You're a commoner. Oh, of course. Of course. We don't need storage over here because what's happening is is that these guys are now picking up the stone from here. They would be able to work a lot faster if I had a warehouse up here. Let's put the warehouse in. Yep. Let's put the warehouse in. And it should be right here. And uh, the negative doesn't encroach on our residential area just to store stone. You're going to store all stone once you're up. Okay. So, so this area has the church. It has a warehouse for the stone being produced. It doesn't have a where... Uh, should I combine? You're not supposed to combine. Yeah, you're probably full, aren't you? Three of 50. I wonder who's picking up the polished stone. 
Interesting. I want to track the polished stone. Or you're just so slow. Yeah, I want to track the polished stone and see who's picking it up. Improving profits with Northberry. Let's invite them over to our monastery. Trade price bonus is 25%. I don't really need this right now. A max cash. Uh, wealth is not to be celebrated over. Yeah, this the, we'll dismiss the opportunity for now. The no fault clause. All right, we have another service shortage over here. Now, you could walk up the bridge to this church, but I think I, it would behoove me... Uh, welcome to the village. It would behoove me to put a church down here. Man, the sprawl. Yeah, to put a church down here. And it would help out this neighborhood. And you're going to be blue because you're next to the water. Okay, not red up on the hill. You're red, right? Yeah, you're going to be blue because you're next to the water. How many is that going to hold... That's, that's going to hold a good number because uh, this holds 45 and this holds 24 and this holds 15 and I don't think the chimney holds anything. That's probably a good thing. But uh, yeah, we'll do something like that. Just a nice little chapel. There we go. So I've cut out the residential area. Well, it's kind of a sharp corner here. But what are you going to do? Turn off the telescope of zoning area so we don't have to look at it. Get this church built. That'll solve the service issue over here. Now, I was tracking the polished stone. I don't see any on the move, but yet... Okay, there's... Where are you going? So you're on the move. Now, where's your warehouse? Where do you work? Oh, you're a builder. Okay. So the only reason it's on the move is the builders are coming over here to pick it up. And what are you building? What do I have building that needs polished stone? Oh, any number of things, I'm sure. Now, you're... Okay, it says you're a builder. And I just put up this church, and that's where you're going. You're picking it up up there, and you're going down here. Okay, okay. All right. Do I have room for yet another warehouse right across the street? And uh, I don't want the red to get into the, uh, to get into the area. Which means if I turn it sideways, yep, we don't even hit the well. So you're going to be, we'll actually turn you like this. Why? Because. And uh, we'll put you right here, right there. Another warehouse. You're going to do the polished stone. You're going to do the stone. And you're going to, and uh, this one's going to do the regular stone. And the uh, other one's going to do the polished stone. And that'll let you stock up on the stone when we have it. And uh, we have two unemployed, so yeah, go ahead and uh, Esteba and Finkill, go ahead and move in here. What's going on here? What's what's going on here? What is this? What is this path here? You know, so I realize that there's farmers' fields here. And did somebody say, oh, look, there's a farmer's fields here. Let's cut. Seriously, is that an old path or a new path? All right. I, I don't know if that's an old path or a new path, but uh, forbidden land, right? I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Nobody can cross this, okay? This is a no cross zone. So don't get any ideas. That should stop them from it. And then we don't have to even look at it. Look at that. Who built? Who did that? I wonder if the builders of the church did it, and I just didn't notice. Punks. By the way, how are these guys doing? Oh, look how clear this hillside is now. Now, wait a minute. Extraction zone. Yep, you can cut down these trees too, so eventually you'll get down there. Do I want you to extract more? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's uh, let's strip the whole hillside. Well, we only own out to there. Let's strip out what we own, for now, up in there. And uh, can I buy this? What do we got? We got we're max cash again. Yeah, go ahead and buy this goofy territory. I'm not ready to commit to that yet. And uh, let's expand our tree cutting area all the way out to here. This is where all the windmills and the bread and everything else is going to go. On this hill. Including right at the top of the hill. So, there you go. There you go. Okay. Curry requests that... Wait a minute. 
wait a minute. Did you see what I saw just for a second? Just for a second? Click on the berries. Look at... Oh, this is what... I, you know, I saw the icon, but it didn't sink in. I can see all the berries now. I can see where all the berries are. Even the ones hidden in the in the woods. I don't think I have that many hidden in the woods. There's one over here. There's one over here. Nice. There's one on the top of this hill. Hey, hey, hey. Another great change. All right. Courier requests an audience. Newcomers requesting an audience. All right. Newcomers are first. Welcome to the village. Courier, what do you want? Hosting the wandering monks. All right. Didn't I get some stuff to do things with? I did. We're maxed at 25 influence now. What do we got going on? Clergy splendor package? Modest cross, modest ornament, modest stone shrine. Gargoyle. Got it. Uh, modest cloister? And a monastery, modest architecture. Why do I care? Fortress church privilege. Clergy and kingdom mutual splendor negative impact is reduced by 50. Ah. Tith tax. Unlock the tith tax on churches. I'd love to do this, but I don't think I can have that many taxes without significant negativity. But I might want to do this. That puts us down at zero. 80% uh, approval, you give us five influence. That's it. 80% approval, delivering berries to the wandering monks. Another five. So this is how to get 10 and 50 bucks. Plus a happiness bonus. While you rest, let me restock you for the road. Accumulate 50 berries inside storage facilities. Okay. Deliver berries to the wandering monks. That part's ta-da, done. And now we gotta host the, the redacted. Anyway, I was worried that this church might not be able to hold enough peeps. So I think I'm gonna add on to it. 46 to 72. I would just feel better if we had one more, like I haven't used the stone gallery yet. Can I sneak in there? No, don't snap. Can I sneak in here and make you look somewhat good? So far, no. I know how I used to use this. No, 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 I got it. I got it. Turn on snapping again. Yeah, you'll snap right there. And you will correctly meet with the ground. And this will hold how many? It's only 15 more. All right. Do we need just a little over overflow building? Like the little stone chapel? Maybe over here? Okay, the gargoyle snaps to this. So that's a reason to use it. And then, I don't know, modest ornament. Oh, these all snap. That's pretty cool. Gargoyle. Haha. <laughs> but does the gargoyle add splendor? It does. Of course, two splendor versus the cross. Just one. <laughs> well, this don't cross adds too. Okay. Yeah, there's no way to make that look better. Do I have an arch or a bridge or something that might make that look better? Like this. Is this resizable? This isn't resizable. No. I need something that's resizable. Well, this I'll have to do. This will give me some more. There. Like, we don't have enough construction going on to begin with. Newcomers, welcome to the village. Don't really have time to walk over there. Uh, turn off the uh, overlay of zoning areas, please. And over here, I was going to do some more berries. This was going to be just fish. Where are your berries going to go? I'm going to need a lot of granaries. Isn't that interesting? You only have 25 berries because of this. I wonder if you'll go over there. You might go over there. Let's give it a try. Foragers, Gelfrat, Alfred, Mahi, 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 Mahi. And then over here, one more forager. It's uh, Primuccio. And then the question is, is this close enough? This might be close enough to go fetch those berries. We'll see. Okay, Liveth from this granary picked up berries here and is carrying them back. So this is close enough. Whatever that distance is. So if you put some sort of a circle around these, that at least is close enough. That's pretty good. Newcomers requesting an audience. Just one. All right. We only have one unemployed. Where am I going to put you? Let's see. The Watching all the berries. And the fish. Check out the fish numbers. No access to service. Who? Dude. You're a monk. 
Suolt. Oh, I can promote you with the manuscript. Nice. I don't want to do that yet, though. I have this huge church. Okay. Uh, we want to go to the chapel. The chapel can hold 72 of 72 because the villagers are using the chapel. Yep. Yep, that's a problem. I need to build yet another church. This this church is humongous, though. 124 of 141. We have 303 villagers. That might be a problem. I think I, I'm going to need to build yet another church. Yak. But... I, this church, one of 72, you'll be built eventually. Man, a lot of things getting built. I really like the new changes so far, especially the promotion. I, I used the promotion right away. And that's, I'm, I'm just thrilled, thrilled by that. Welcome to the village. I got jobs. I know I have jobs somewhere. I think I put a warehouse here for wood because... You're full of wood. Yep. Sorry about that. Uh, Flane, Gaimar, and Marhas. You're going to go here and uh, grab the wood from these woodcutters, please. Because I forgot and they are filling up on wood until a builder happens to need some wood. We are up to 270 wood, but I think... Well, I don't know why we're up to 270. 50 of it's here, right? And then uh, 30 of it's here. But I, the rest of it. Oh, we have another wood, another woodcutter down here. Remember, put another woodcutter here, and you've got fifty of fifty. Okay. So now everybody's full of wood. Turn the wood watcher back on. Where am I storing the wood? I think I need another warehouse for wood. Why can't I find the the only warehouse for wood we have is right here at sixty four. Hmm. Okay. Can I put a warehouse on the beach? Sort of, maybe, kind of. Um, and that's the way you zigzag outside territory. You can go here and you don't hurt the houses. Right on the beach. Newcomers. How convenient. I'm going to put you sideways. Because I think it looks better. And I'm going to put this house up here. Because I think it looks better. Okay. Right there. Build it. That'll do wood. Welcome to the village. All right. And then we'll, we'll try to, to relieve the wood blockage, whatever you want to call it. I <laughs> uh, still don't have the farmer's end. I was going to do windmills up here. Man, I feel like I'm playing catch up now because I want to make sure that I have the transporters all working as efficiently as possible. You're going to store polished stone. How are we doing on the polished stone? We're doing fine because one at a time... Now, see, that's a builder. See the little hammer? The builder is bringing one polished stone at a time over, and that's just horrible. So, the polished stone will be stored here. Hopefully, you can... This will speed things up. And uh, it'll be uh, Gwenor, Hildebold, and Gerviza. Gerviza. Something. We're making tons of money. Leaving villagers. Some of your villagers are discontent. Where? Where? No, they aren't. Their reasons are their own, but they made it clear. If their life in your village does not improve, they will leave. Have a look at them and see what's bothering them. Let's help them out. Raise the happiness of all villagers to 25%. Currently 307 of 308. Okay. That's cool. It's another help. That's very cool. It's another part of the tutorial. The Wandering Monks are pleased. We have a happiness bonus now of 50. And we have five extra clergy influence. I don't think I can spend it. I could. Lay Folk Garens. Oh yeah, I can spend it. We have 15 out of 25. Uh, modest Cloister? We'll do the Modest Cloister. Because I'm going to need that very soon. And then we still have five influence left, but I can't spend it. Kingdom, we don't have any. Labor, 10 of 10 still. Manor House, Stone Architecture, why not? Okay, and let's look at the scores now. Labor, uh, we're currently sitting at a 20. Kingdom, we're sitting at a 10 because it's, it's unhappy because of the non-exclusive penalty. The Splendor is all the way up at 88, but that non-exclusive penalty is 
minus 78, which brings it down to 10. Uh, it's okay. It's the kingdom. I didn't send the soldiers out this time either, but we don't we don't really need them. And then the, the clergy, the rating is 48 because I keep adding on uh, splendor to it. Newcomers requesting an audience. Two days left. Hold on. There you go. Welcome to the village. All right. I'm still watching stone. Yeah, I don't know how much that's going to help. Anyway, let's stop watching the polished stone, I should say. And let's go over to the list. And I think the foragers. Yeah, these foragers. Three of three. Oops, it was over here. One of three. Uh, Grifuccio. Over here. I'm going to slow it down to speed one. We have more berries. A few more berries. The very numbers is still low. 230. Now, remember the fish. I'm not trading it away and we have 800. Perhaps my entire mistake with the fish was... 350. Nah, you, the berries are just at 240. Buy until inventory reaches 350. We haven't done that forever. I'm going to set these things to 500. I'm going to say sell above 500. I'm going to say sell berries above 500. And we'll see if that... I, the berries I don't think is going to move a bit. And neither with the fish. Because we haven't been buying fish forever. It's just crazy high now. Alright. Build your path is blocked. We're going to ignore that message. I don't know how to fix that when they plant trees as close as they do together. Oh, this is actually, this is actually not as far away as I thought it was. Right over here. That wouldn't be that, that hard to get to, this rock here. We'll have to put Gertie on that. Gertie found some more iron over there. I'm not doing any iron yet. Of course, I don't need to. I'm not doing any iron yet. Uh, stuff is being built. This church is being built. Doing too much building at a time. Looks like we've got three newcomers coming in. And then, for the end here, I wanted to take a look at the new map generator, because the map generator changed. Advice follows. Peace has returned to the village. I didn't follow that advice. That person just decided they were happy. I just want you to know that. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's look at the new map generator. All right, so here's the new map, ge map generator. Check it out. Create a map. Original maps. So create a map. Beta. Yep, 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 yep. But look at this. Ocean, bay, lake, island, cliff, hill... All right, we're going to bump the cliffs up. No ocean. More lakes. Check out the key down here. And then uh, I want lots of cliffs. I said lots of cliffs, right? This is not what I expected, but this does not look as bad as I thought it would because these... All right, there's... there's so these aren't the cliffs. So this is the new way to put mineral deposits onto flatter land. You basically build up these rock formations. I think that's awesome. Oh, okay, you can set the map archetype. So this is hills. And then I have a lake. Oh, this changes promontory. Controls the overall surface taken by promontories. So not very many hills, not very many slopes. Maybe one promontory or so in a lake. And you do this. So you end up with this. So here's a promontory with a bunch of mineral nodes stacked around this little hillside, right? So that's good. But they've also changed it so that if you don't have a feature like that, remember how the nodes just used to stick up in the middle of everything? Now you have these rock outcroppings that the nodes attach to, which looks awesome, I think. That is a huge improvement. And uh, there's another one over there. So this would be, you know, this is a very flat... Boring, but maybe somebody likes this, you know, but just for me. Boring map, but uh, I really like the way it looks. So I've reached the clergy exemplar tier. I think I was there before. I just reloaded this game to uh, call it a day. And what is the exemplar tier? Mm, yes, we have a rating of 51, so I unlocked all the way down here. This, this means I get another privilege, right? It does. It does mean I get another privilege. I'm not going to do that till next time. I can use the clergy to kingdom mutual splendor. I'm not going to do that till next time. And uh, in the meantime, here's our new little neighborhood, right? And uh, we'll just sign off looking at this. Uh, I really like this new version. I mean, this the, everything's really coming together, I think, as far as the way the game works. And the uh, promoting on the villager screen and the ranges algorithm for the granaries and the warehouses. I don't know. It's pretty cool. And uh, it makes me feel more confident about building these uh, 
kind of satellite villages if I can meet all the villagers needs without them having to walk for miles to get one of the needs but anyway that's going to be it for this time thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it we'll see you later